Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is the next in our series of Moody's about how to negotiate your way around Moodle. Uh, firstly, you can see we're now on the home screen. You can see that up here. Um, I'm now logged in as a test user. And you can see now I, can, I have my, um, my course has come up here. Um, what we're concerned with uh, in this lesson is um, how to use this navigation bar, this sidebar along the side here very important it allows you to work your way through the website once you get used to this you'll find negotiating way through Moodle is a breeze so let's have a look at it so you can see here we've got a number of sections there's just a header up here number of sections we've got calendar navigation and we have settings uh, these can be configured by you and we'll cover that in a subsequent movie but let's just focus in on these particular sections. You can see along the side here, we have um, a little icon which um, says uh, plus on there. And when I hover over it, I get a little tooltip pop up and it says show calendar block. If I click on that, we expand that particular section. So it allows us a large amount of detail, but if it's getting in our way, we can just um, collapse it again by clicking back on it and it says hide calendar block there. So we click on that. Um, so we have a number of sections here um, that we can expand and if we look at this particular section you can see there's a number of links on there if you hover over them they'll highlight. But you notice you can uh, there's a little arrow next to some of these links and these allow you to again expand or um, collapse particular areas. So if you don't want to see the all the menus, you can click it and it will expand or contract. Um, and if you want to see more, then you click on it and that um, expands that particular section and you can click on that link there. So relatively easy to expand and contract particular areas. Um, the other thing that you can do, if this is getting in your way, this whole section here, you can, um, if you hover over this particular bit here, you can see that it pops up, move this to the dock, and if I click on that, and it seems to have disappeared um, completely, but if we move over to the right-hand side, you can see that it has docked on the right-hand side of the screen. Now this is really useful because it allows you to um, dock your particular sections if you want to and hide them or move them to a different area and allow more real estate on this particular page or any particular page and if you want to use it you can just hover over it and it will um, auto pop out and so if you want to set up your your navigation bar like that we can actually collapse all those sections this header will stay here no matter what and then we can just hover over those particular areas and you can see that they have docked with that particular section. Let's just move them all back out again. So you can do that by hovering over them and it says undock this item. So we can do that and undock this item there. So the last thing really is to just say that um, if you want to go to any particular section or interact with the navigation bias like any other hyperlink that you would click on on the website if it highlights and the hand comes up when you hover over it, then you can click on it and it'll do something. So in this case here, if I hover over this particular section and uh, click on the right hand arrow and allow the page to refresh again, you have to be a little bit patient. Uh, the server is not the fastest in the world on this particular site, so you do have to have a little bit of patience. And there it's refreshed and you can see it's moved from January to February. So any of those links, when you hover over them and you get a hand tool pop up, then you can click on that and it is interactive. Okay, so that's how to use the sidebar. Um, in subsequent movies, we'll look at negotiating our way through the site and we will have a look at your particular homepage.